Today's health news, how a simple type of mental exercise might slow down the effects of dementia. Local 10 medical specialist Krista Kruger is in our newsroom with details. Yeah, head to your computer. A new 10-year study shows that speed training with your computer exercises is better for your brain than these old-fashioned memory and reasoning exercises that we used to do. Experts at UHealth and their Brain Fitness Pavilion are now using the same computer model used in the study to help their patients reduce the risk of developing dementia happens is there's two major findings. One major finding was that these people who got active training ranging from 10 to 14 hours had cognitive gains that were preserved over a 10-year period. They performed better than the people who got the inactive treatment a decade later. But most importantly and certainly most intriguingly is the fact that the people who got 14 hours of brain training wound up with a 48 percent reduction in their risk for developing Alzheimer's disease over a 10-year follow-up. All right, so Dr. Philip Harvey, who's the co-director of UHealth's Brain Fitness Pavilion, says the randomized study involved healthy older individuals and it was funded by the National Institute of Aging. So all these folks working on their computers down here, they're doing the right thing. Also in today's HealthCast, a new protein test may help doctors diagnose Parkinson's in its earliest stages. Almost one million Americans live with this disorder, for which there certainly and currently is no test. But the test, which looked at the buildup of a specific protein in your spinal fluid, it was accurate 95 to 100 percent of the time. And coming up at 5 o'clock, my senior solution report takes another closer look at exactly how our brain ages. We'll see you in an hour. Victor? All right, Chris.